Every time that orange check engine light shows up on your dashboard you feel stressed. Don't worry friends. In this video I'll show you 6 different ways to turn it off without using a scanner. And yes, they actually work. No expensive tools, no shop visit, and no complicated steps. Just real simple methods that anyone can do at home. So stay until the end, because I'll also show you two new techniques that most people don't even know about. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to hit that button, give this video a like, and share it with your friends who love saving money on car repairs. Now, let's get started. If you like quick free car fixes, Hit subscribe and let's get started. What the check engine light really means. As many of you already know, the check engine light or service engine light is one of the most important indicators in your vehicle. It's connected to the car's main computer, which constantly monitors the engine, transmission and emission systems. When something goes wrong, even something very small, the computer stores a trouble code and turns on that light. Sometimes it's serious, but often it's something simple. A loose gas cap, a temporary sensor glitch, or an old code that hasn't cleared yet. The goal of today's video is to safely reset that light only when you've already fixed the issue, so you don't have to pay a shop every time you see it on. Now, let's move on to the methods. Das cap reset, simple and often overlooked. Before trying anything else, Check your gas cap. Believe it or not, this is one of the most common reasons that check engine lights appear. If the gas cap isn't sealed tightly, fuel vapors can leak, and the system detects that as an emission fault. Here's what you need to do. Open the fuel door and remove the gas cap. That's it. Inspect the rubber ring for cracks or dirt. Put it back on and tighten it until it clicks three times. Start your car again. If that was the cause, the light might turn off immediately, or after driving about 10 to 50 key cycling reset. Now if the light is still there, let's go to the next method. This one doesn't need any tools and is usually called the key cycling method. Here's how it works. Turn your key to the on position. Not start, just enough so that all dashboard lights come on. Wait for about 5 seconds. Then turn the key back to off F. Repeat this 5 times in a row. What this does is signal to the car's computer that everything is reconnected and ready. It's especially useful if you recently fixed a small issue, like cleaning the math sensor or replacing a hose. In many vehicles, the light will turn off after this cycle if the fault is no longer active. Remember friends, this method does not erase any of your radio settings or dashboard data. So it's safe to try first. Fuse removal. ECM or EFE oath. Now let's move on to the third method. The fuse reset. Every car has at least one fuse connected directly to the main computer. Also called the ECM fuse or EFE oath. This small fuse provides constant power to store memory and diagnostic codes. Here's how to do it. But said oh. Turn off the car completely. Open the fuse box. It's usually under the hood or near the driver's side kit panel. Wait about 30 seconds. Then put it back in. After that, start your car and see if the light is gone. This process clears temporary memory from the ECU. Similar to restarting a computer. And don't worry, if you do it properly, you won't damage anything. But be sure to check your vehicle's manual or the fuse box cover to confirm you've pulled the right one. If you're unsure, just leave me a comment with your car's make and model. I'll tell you exactly which fuse it is. Battery disconnect. Reset. If the fuse trick doesn't work, then this next method is what I call the soft reset. You'll need a wrench or pliers. That's it. Wait 5 to 10 minutes before reconnecting it. This clears the computer's stored codes and restarts all systems. However, keep in mind, this will also reset your clock radio stations, and any other custom settings. It's a simple and safe way to give your car's computer a clean start. Many times after reconnecting, the check engine light will stay off for good if the issue is already fixed. Quick pause. If this is helping you so far, give it a quick like. It really supports the channel. Alright friends, let's move on to the next method. Terminal bridge. Hard reset. Now if none of the previous methods worked, this one is the deep reset, also called the terminal short method. Please listen carefully here because it's important to do it safe. First, 
Disconnect both the positive and negative battery cables from the battery. Make sure the battery itself is out of the circuit. Now, take those two loose cables and touch them together for about 10 to 15. What this does is discharge all capacitors in the car's computer, wiping all stored memory completely. Then reconnect the terminals to the battery and start the engine. If your vehicle uses an electronic throttle system, you might need to let it idle for a few minutes, so it can relearn the idle position. Never do this while the battery is connected, only with both cables removed. Done correctly, it's completely safe and very effective. Bluetooth OBD2 App Reset Modern alternative, now, let's look at the new and easy way that most people don't know yet. Even without a professional scanner, you can use a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter and your smartphone. You can find one online for around 10 to 15. Plug it into your OBD2 port under the dashboard. Connect it to your phone and open a free app like Car Scanner, Torque or OBD Auto Doctor. These apps read and clear trouble codes just like a real scan. You can see exactly which sensor caused the light, clear it with one tap and even monitor live data while driving. It's the simplest digital method for modern cars, and it saves you money in the long run. If you drive often, it's worth keeping one in your glove. Important tips and safety notes. Friends, before you reset your check engine light, always make sure the real cause of the problem has been fixed. Turning the light off doesn't repair the issue. It only clears the computer's memory. If the root problem still exists, the light will come right back usually within a few minutes of driving or after your next startup cycle. If that happens, don't panic. It simply means the fault is active again. At that point, it's best to check the code using a simple Bluetooth OBD2 app, or have a quick diagnostic done at any auto parts store or local mechanic. Many stores will even scan it for free. Also, a quick but important warning, never short the battery terminals while the battery is connected. Doing so can send a surge of current that may damage sensitive components in the ECU or other electronic systems. Always remove both terminals before making any bridge connections. And one more thing friends, pay attention to the type of check engine light you see. If it's solid, it's usually a minor or stored code, but if it's flashing, that means an active misfire or a serious engine problem. In that case, stop driving and get it checked immediately to avoid damaging your catalytic converter or engine being cautious now can save you hundreds of dollars later career recap let's review what we did today gas cap reset the most common fix key cycling safe easy and quick fuse removal resets computer memory battery disconnect clears ecu code terminal bridge deep system reset obd2 bluetooth app the modern DIY tool, each of these methods can help you safely remove that annoying light, and all of them cost zero dollars if you already have basic tool. Conclusion, friends, I hope this video helped you understand how easy it can be to turn off the check engine light yourself, safely and for free. Remember, not every warning light means an expensive repair, sometimes it's just about knowing the right step. If this guide helped you please give it a like subscribe and share it with your friends or family who love doing their own car maintenance i upload videos every week on topics like engine care sensor cleaning and free diy diagnostics so stay tuned for more thank you for watching friends until next time take care drive safe and keep your engine light off